Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am It's Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing season one, episode 28 of Sailor Moon called The Painting of Love. Usagi um, and Mamoru get closer. Ooh, <laughs> sorry. So we have a new intro to the um, show. This is the same music, but it's different um, pictures and it's really, really cool. I actually liked it a lot. Then we go to where Queen Beryl again is not happy at all. And then Zoisaya has a new target and um, he can't fail <laughs> or else. And so we start to see that's actually around fall time this um, in the show. And then Usagi is confused with Tissita Mask. And then we cut to where Naru takes her to an art exhibit. And then Umino showed up as well and sees a great picture. And it looks familiar actually. And then um, looks uh, familiar to Mamoru as well because he's there as well. And then the artist bumps into Mamoru. <laughs> and then um, Usagi saw uh, and busts him, but um, it was just because Mamoru was just saying, I'm sorry, I bumped into you, and da da da. And um, the girl wants Usagi too. So basically, she wants Mamoru and Usagi to be in the next picture. And she's actually the artist. Then they say okay, and then Usagi is starting to vibe on him a little bit and starting to crush a little bit. And, um, and basically, I think the same is happening to um, Mamoru. He's starting to get some vibes from Usagi as well. And then we have great art happening, and then we have Zoe's like spying. Then we cut to Luna found Usagi, and She's kind of pissed because, like, she's just wasting her time posing in a picture. The, then Usagi storms off when, I think Mamoru started to bicker with her, so she was like, I'm out. Then the Mystics um, alert went off, and then Zosai, like, I think broke in, took the crystal, and then she transforms. And then just do the mask helps out, but the Scout saves Sour Moon and have a really cool action scene. Then it's Tessita Mask versus Zoosite. Sour Moon then helps um, Tessita Mask. And then um, basically Sour Moon dropped the locket. Until, but Tessita Mask tells her to keep it. And also that he will steal the crystal if given the chance. Uh, Sour Moon heals the artist and she's back to normal. And she decided that she's going to be more out there. So basically the artist in the first place was like basically um, her self-portrait. It's not really her self-portrait. It's not just like something she thought of in her head. And um, she was basically like um, incognito and didn't want to um, put herself out there just because people think like these are such romantic pieces. And she looks plain uh, that no one will like it or believe it more. I don't, I know, it's weird, but, um, but I think with the whole thing happening, she realized, like, uh, let me just be myself more and be more out there, but I, I think that was a good transition, you know, and I really enjoyed the episode. I'm really scatterbrained because, one, there's a thunderstorm about happening, and I'm not here for it, so. <laughs> and it's like 7 in the morning. <laughs> Guess we couldn't sleep. Anyway, it was a really good action scene. I really enjoyed it, so I gave it an A+. Plus. And um, I just really liked the artwork. I thought the artwork was really good. Um, so, yeah. And some of it reminded them of the dark of the um, Moon Kingdom. And that's why it kind of triggered them a little bit um, in a good way. It just helped spark um, uh, memories. Anyway, I'm tired. Bye. <laughs> Subscribe if you want.